Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Rhode Island State House. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for joining in as we bring you the latest in politics here from Smith Hill. I have a familiar face, Representative Bob Croce. Thank you for joining us today Hi, Kate. Online. Nice to be with you again. I appreciate your coming on because I want to talk about something that you are spearheading, and this is a study commission to look at recycling for multifamily homes. Tell us a little bit about this thought process and what you're discussing with colleagues as you're looking to expand recycling in this. Okay. Uh, so I, I can't take full credit for this. You know, I'll give credit where it's due. Uh, former state representative and minority leader, Patricia Morgan, uh, with, through our many conversations, uh, coupled with conversations with my mom at the same time, who lives in a, a senior complex in Boston, and they do recycle. So, um, you know, the, the combination of all those conversations kind of got me thinking, you know, you know, hey, let's bring this to Rhode Island. So here I am with the study commission. So what have you been hearing from constituents about this? Do you think there's a need that you hear from folks that they say, we want to increase these recycling uh, capacities? Well, it, honestly, it's, it's not so prevalent in uh, my district, but we have what's called tipping fees in Rhode Island, and that's uh, what the municipal, municipalities are charged per ton um, to dump. Uh, uh, dump refuse at, at the landfill. Mm. So um, recycling products, I don't know if folks know or, or not, but they're not charged uh, tipping fees. So, I mean, that should be a big concern to anyone, whether you have multifamily units in your district or you don't. You know, it, it costs the municipalities. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's, I think it's worth looking into. We have a lot to learn. Do you think that this would be uh, revenue neutral or could there even be cost savings? Uh, well, I, I guess that we're going to have to wait till the, you know, till we get into the, the study a little more to actually find that information out. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't have all those answers right now, but uh, let, let's say we hope that it's revenue neutral at the very least, you know. So. So what's the game plan moving forward? The commission is in place. Uh, what are we looking at for expected time frame to have some findings? Uh, we just had actually tonight is is there's a uh, meeting in um, environmental to extend uh, the date for this. Uh, I, I think it's going to be uh, for another couple months because we actually just started. And um, so, so we're going to be going for at least a couple months, you know, before we get any, any type of information out. Do you have any anticipation that there could potentially be legislation in introduced this year? Or do you think it might be a, a longer process, perhaps looking at next year? Yeah, that's really hard to tell, Kate. You know, um, I, you know, I'll, you know, full disclosure, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, questions to be answered, you know, hurdles, you know, how do you change people's habits, you know, how do you educate them to, to participate, there's going to be a lot of hurdles and questions to be answered, so. And do you, have you heard from folks who've raised concerns about this? Is there anyone that doesn't want increased recycling in the state? Well, I mean, I, I've got, I've gotten uh, a lot of great feedback, but I will say one person did uh, reach out to me and because she was in the in the um, condominium business, so she said that they attempted this where she was, and it's very difficult to get people not to throw pizza boxes, say for instance, where they don't belong. But this is something that that the that the study is all about: to try and hash through these things, and see if we can make it happen. Because you know? even on the individual home recycling level, there's still an education component that is undertaken all the time, um, especially at the state level, and it would just probably need to be extended to multifamily uh, units. Absolutely. Um, you know, just think when, when recycling was introduced in, into, you know, everyone's, uh, the average person's homes, it, it takes a while for people to get used to the idea, to participate, to throw the right materials in, in so. We'll see moving forward the results again from this commission that uh, Representative uh, Bob Petrocci is overseeing here at the Rhode Island State House. And I know you're busy and you're off to the races here today, and we're going to be back in a little bit, but don't go anywhere here at the Rhode Island State House. Thank you again.